I was always doing things, always kind of very expressive. But when I was uh, 15, 16, I started to study art history. And what was uh, so striking for me was that people were always, you know, in history and very much dead. And for me, the question was, um, if you are studying art history, where are the people that actually are doing the artworks, you know, in this time and the moment? And actually, this is what I think I would like to do too. I had a moment after finishing my high school education where I could follow uh, further into uh, education for art making. Or, and my curiosity was also something journalistic. But because I always wanted to be very extended in my approach to things, I refused to take either of those kind of approaches. And I, I found that somehow making notes, making very poetic gestures in some way where I inferred things that have to do with me and things that to do, have to do with the kind of the social history that I was in, was a much more interesting uh, recording uh, or a, a much more interesting social document because it put you in the middle of a, of a kind of an ongoing story. So that's how I kind of uh, moved along to make the things that I make up to this uh, today. In the uh, primary stage, I write and then I make some kind of sketches and then I try to find different ways to realize what I need to do. If I'm in the studio, it's uh, extremely self-reflective. I am uh, making drawings, I'm making paintings, I'm folding things together, tearing things apart. Uh, if I'm outside and traveling, I'm taking impressions with my camera, I'm making photographs, uh, I'm making objects in the landscape, uh, I'm making actions. I find that all the different elements that I can bring together actually are much more uh, stronger in kind of trying to tell a story. I think that with uh, every artwork you see, it either inspires you or it makes you have some questions um, and it can remind you and it can serve as a kind of a marker. So for me, uh, making any object, while it might not be a rudimentary uh, social document, it marks time in some very concrete way. And I would be very happy to be contributing from an oblique angle about the times that uh, we are living in. I started doing my work in South Africa and I moved to the Netherlands and I have always been allied and uh, related to South Africa. And I have always worked out of South Africa. And when I worked in South Africa, I showed my work elsewhere. And I am not uh, working in a pack or in a, in, a, in a group setting. So I think it's a very individual situation. And everybody has uh, parallel uh, lives together. And sometimes they intersect, for example, in this exhibition. I'm meeting some of the people for the first time. And I am looking forward to that.